For the first time, the U.S. didn't vote against the United Nations resolution calling for an end to the Cuba embargo. Today, the United States will abstain. For the past 25 years, the U.N. has overwhelmingly voted for the U.S. to end its embargo on Cuba. Clearly, those votes didn't have any practical impact on the embargo, but sitting out the U.N. vote is just the latest change in the U.S.'s attitude toward Cuba. The tide started to turn in 2014 when President Obama announced the U.S. would restore diplomatic relationships with Cuba. Since then, changes to the embargo have included opening a U.S. embassy in Havana, resuming commercial flights to Cuba, and easing restrictions on what Americans can bring back from the island nation. Abstaining on this resolution does not mean that the United States agrees with all of the policies and practices of the Cuban government. We have found a way to discuss these issues in a respectful and reciprocal manner. The Obama administration supports fully lifting the Cuba embargo, but that is up to Congress. For Newsy, I'm Stephanie Liebergen.